Chapter 1 The Missouri Driver License Anyone who operates a motor vehicle or motor-driven cycle on public roadways in Missouri is required to have a valid driver license. You may obtain a Missouri driver license at any Missouri license office. You must have a Missouri driver license if you live in Missouri, are 16 years of age or older, and plan to drive. If you are a new resident of Missouri and want to drive, even if you have a driver license from another state. If you are an out-of-state commercial driver who has moved to Missouri within the last 30 days, please refer to the Missouri Commercial Driver License Manual. You do not need a Missouri driver license. If you are a member of the Armed Forces and you have a valid driver license from your home state. If you are a full-time student and you have a valid driver license from your home state. If you operate or temporarily operate or move any farm tractor or implement on a highway for AGRA-related purposes. You are required to carry your driver license or permit when you drive. If any law enforcement officer asks to see your driver license or permit, you must present it. It is against the law for you to allow anyone else to use your license or permit. Here's a tip. Anyone obtaining a new license or permit is required to show verification of lawful status, identity, full legal name, social security number, and Missouri residency. These requirements are explained in detail later in this chapter. The types of permits. If you are under 21 years of age, you will be issued a permit identifying you as a minor. An instruction permit, the eligible age is 15. This is the first step in Missouri's graduated driver license program for young drivers. Generally, this permit allows a young person to learn to drive with the supervision of a licensed adult. See later in this chapter for detailed information. The motorcycle instruction permit, the eligible age, is 15 and a half or 16. You may apply for a motorcycle instruction permit to learn to operate a motorcycle or motor tricycle. The age you are eligible to apply may be 15 and a half or 16 years, as described below. 15 and a half years of age, that's 15 years and 182 days. The motorcycle instruction permit will only be issued if you have successfully completed an approved motorcycle rider training course. You must pass the Class F and Class M written, vision, and road sign tests. You must also have the written consent of your parent or legal guardian. This permit allows daylight driving only within a 50-mile radius of home. A motorcycle of no larger than 250 cc and no passengers. At 16 years of age or older, you may apply for a motorcycle instruction permit but the motorcycle rider training course is not required. If you do not have a valid driver license, you must take the Class F and Class M written tests to receive a motorcycle instruction permit. When you are ready, you may take the motorcycle driving test and pay the appropriate fee to become motorcycle qualified. For more information about Missouri's motorcycle laws, see the Motorcycle Operator Manual posted on our website at http colon double forward slash dor dot mo dot gov forward slash. You may also request a copy from MSHP or any license office. The types of licenses. If you are under 21 years of age, you will be issued a license identifying you as a minor. When you reach age 21, you may apply and pay for another driver license without the minor indication or wait until your under 21 license expires. The intermediate license, Class F. The eligible age is 16. This is the second step in Missouri's graduated driver license program, the GDL for young drivers. Generally, this license allows a young person certain restricted driving privileges. See later in this chapter for detailed information. The full driver license, Class F, 
Eligible age, 18. This is the basic driver license, also called an operator license. You must have a Class F license to operate any motor vehicle, other than one requiring you to have a Class A, B, C, or E license. The Class F license does not allow you to drive a motorcycle unless the license shows the Motorcycle M endorsement. Endorsements will be discussed later in this chapter. You must pass the Class F written vision, road sign, and driving tests. The For Hire License, Class E. Eligible age is 18. When you test for a Class E license, the written exam will include questions based on the complete driver guide, but mainly Chapter 15, Commercial Vehicles. You must also pass the vision and road sign tests. If you already have a Class F license, a driving test is not required. However, you must still meet the under-21 requirements for a full license if you apply for a Class E license at age 18. Details for under-21 requirements are later in this chapter. There are a number of reasons you may wish to obtain a Class E license, such as if you receive pay for driving a motor vehicle, transporting 14 or fewer passengers, such as a driver for a daycare center, if you will transport property for pay or as part of your job, such as a florist delivery driver, if you regularly operate a motor vehicle for your employment, which belongs to another person, and is designed to carry freight and merchandise. The vehicle must be 26,000 pounds or less gross vehicle weight rating, the GVWR, and not required to be placarded for hazardous materials. The following individuals shall not be required to obtain a for hire Class E license pursuant to 387.438 RSMO. Firstly, individuals who use a motor vehicle with a gross vehicle weight less than or equal to 12,000 pounds for the purpose of providing transportation service as an eligible transportation network company driver or taxicab driver. Or, secondly, individuals providing prepared food delivery services for entities such as a fast food restaurant, delicatessen, or other facility engaged in the selling of food for consumption off the premises of the facility. The Motorcycle License, Class M, Eligible Age, 16 You must have a Class M license or permit, or a driver license with the M endorsement, if you operate a motorcycle or motor tricycle on public roadways. You will need to pass the Class F and Class M written, vision, road sign, and motorcycle skills test. GDL requirements will apply to Class M license applicants between the ages of 16 and 18. See the GDL requirements later in this chapter. A driver operating a motorized bicycle is not required to obtain a motorcycle endorsement. However, he or she must hold a valid operator's or higher classification license. For more information about Missouri's motorcycle laws, see the Motorcycle Operator Manual posted on our website. You may also request a copy from MSHP or any license office. Commercial Driver License Class A, B, or C you must have a commercial driver license based on the type of commercial motor vehicle you drive. You must be at least 18 years old to apply for a CDL and at least 21 years old to obtain a CDL with a hazardous materials or school bus endorsement. You must still meet the under 21 requirements if you apply for a CDL at age 18. For more information about Missouri's commercial driving laws, See the Commercial Driver License Manual posted on our website, address as given above. You may also request a copy from MSHP or any license office. Non-Driver License Identification Card, Class ND You may obtain a photo non-driver license for identification purposes. Your non-driver license expires on your date of birth in the sixth year after you apply. 
If you are age 70 or older, your non-driver license will never expire. Requirements to obtain a license or permit Depending on your age, whether you are obtaining a new license or permit, if you are renewing one, or if you have just moved to Missouri, the requirements to obtain a license are slightly different. If you are a driver age 15 to 21, the GDL program applies to you. Please see the GDL section in this chapter for more information. You will need to show verification of lawful status. Identity must include full legal name and date of birth. Social security number. Name change if applicable and Missouri residency detailed in this chapter to qualify. If you are a Missouri driver, you may be required to provide verification of lawful status. Identity must include full legal name and date of birth, social security number, name change if applicable, and Missouri residency will be required each time you apply to renew a driver license, non-driver license, or instruction permit. You must also present your previous license. If you are obtaining a new Missouri license, you must show verification of lawful status. Identity must include full legal name and date of birth, social security number, a name change if applicable, and Missouri residency. You will also be required to take the four-part driver examination. The four-part exam consists of a written test, vision test, road sign test, and a driving skills test. See Chapter 2 for more information. If you are new to Missouri and are transferring your out-of-state driver license, you will need to present verification of lawful status, identity must include full legal name and date of birth, social security number, name change if applicable, Missouri residency, and mailing address, if different than residential address. You must also surrender the license from your previous state of residence and take the vision and road sign tests. Upon transfer of your out-of-state driver license, any driver license, permit, or non-driver license issued in another state will be invalidated. Next, you must take the four-part driver examination detailed in Chapter 2 if any of the following apply to you. You are applying for a new Missouri driver license. If your Missouri driver license has been expired for more than six months, 184 days. If your out-of-state license has been expired for more than 184 days. If your license was revoked because you have too many points on your driving record or because of an administrative alcohol revocation. See Chapters 11 and Chapter 10, respectively. Or if the Director of Revenue asks you to take the exam, even if you have a current driver license. Required Documents When you obtain or renew any license, permit, or non-driver license, you will be required to present proof of lawful status. Identity Must include full legal name and date of birth. Social Security Number Name Change, if applicable. Missouri Residency and mailing address, if different than residential address. You will also be required to present and surrender your current license, permit, or non-driver license. Details of these requirements are listed below. For more information, visit http colon double forward slash dor dot mo dot gov forward slash Lawful status. A U.S. citizen may show a U.S. birth certificate certified with an embossed, stamped, or raised seal and issued by a vital records agency. Hospital birth certificates and birth registration cards are not acceptable. A valid, unexpired U.S. passport, a U.S. certificate of citizenship, certificate of naturalization, or a certificate of birth abroad. A copy of a U.S. birth certificate issued by a vital records agency accompanied by a U.S. military identification card or discharge papers. 
This proof of lawful status is not acceptable for issuance of a real ID compliant document. Non US citizens must present the appropriate immigration documents indicating the applicant's status. Examine the full list of acceptable required documents to obtain a real ID compliant or non real ID compliant card at http colon double forward slash dor dot mo dot gov forward slash drivers forward slash id requirements dot php age 65 and older exemption if you are renewing a non real id compliant non commercial permit or driver license or non driver license and are age 65 or older you may be exempt from presenting documents for place of birth identity documents used to verify identity must contain your full legal name and date of birth many lawful status documents also prove identity other examples include employment authorization document real ID compliant or non real ID license or a foreign passport with a US visa accompanied by an I-94 Missouri residency you have a variety of options to prove your current address examples include a current utility bill including phone electric gas water sewer and cable property tax receipt, voter ID card, or any official letter issued within the last 30 days by another state or local government agency on its letterhead. To obtain a real ID compliant document, you must provide two documents verifying Missouri residency. To obtain a non real ID compliant document, you must provide one document verifying Missouri residency. If you have a separate mailing address, you must provide a document to verify the mailing address. Note, a post office box is not acceptable as a residential address. You need to show proof of residential address and alternate mailing address if applicable. Current addresses are important. Your license will be mailed to the address provided. If you are under the age of 21 and cannot provide an acceptable document from the list of verification of a Missouri residential address, a parent or legal guardian may provide such a document on your behalf. Refer to the complete list of acceptable documents at www.dor.mo.gov. For purposes of an application for a real ID compliant document, the use of the document submitted by the parent or guardian is only acceptable as one of the two required residency verification documents. Residential address is the location at which a person has been physically present and that the person regards as home. A residential address is a person's true, fixed, principal, and permanent home to which a person intends to return and remain even though currently residing elsewhere. Social Security Number State law requires you to include your Social Security Number, your SSN, on your application to obtain a Missouri license or permit. The SSN may be provided by presenting the Social Security Card, W-2 Wage and Tax Statement, 1099 Form, or a pay stub with name and Social Security Number. If you do not have a Social Security number, you must sign a notarized affidavit stating that you have not been issued a Social Security number. At the time of application, the affidavit will be provided by the license office. You must present a letter from the Social Security Administration, the SSA, regarding the status of your Social Security number. Applicants without a Social Security number may be ineligible for a real ID compliant document depending upon lawful status verification documents. If you are a non-immigrant foreign student who is not authorized to work in the United States, submission of a status letter from the SSA is not required. You 
or your dependent's immigration document must reflect an F or a J classification. License or permit applications without a Social Security number may be reviewed by the Central Office for final approval prior to printing and mailing. Name Changes If your current name is different than it appears on your identity and lawful status document presented, or is not the same on all your documents, present one of the documents below showing your correct current name. Last Name Change Certified Marriage Certificate Certified Divorce Decree Certified Court Order Certified Court-Ordered Adoption Papers or Amended Birth Certificate First Name Change A Certified Court Order A Middle Name Change Certified Court Order Make sure you have all the necessary documents with you before you go to your license office. It will save you time and the time of your fellow customers. Permit Fees Fees for and duration of a permit are based on the applicant's age at the time of the transaction. Application test fees are not included. For a new or renewal permit. For a student permit, the minimum age is 15, the cost is $1. It is valid for the length of the approved course. For an instruction permit, the minimum age is 15, the cost $7. It is valid for 0 to 12 months. For a motorcycle permit, the minimum age is 15 and a half or 16. The cost, $9.75 or $7. It is valid for 0 to 6 months or 182 days. The next type is the commercial learner's permit. The minimum age is 18. Cost, $16. Valid for one year, 360 days or less. Non-renewable. License fees. Fees and duration of license are based on the applicant's age at the time of the transaction. Application test fees are not included. For a new or renewal of license. For an intermediate license, the minimum age is 16. Cost, $11. It is valid for 0 to 2 years. For a full license, Class F, minimum age is 18. The cost, $13.50, valid for 0 to 3 years, or $27, valid for 0 to 6 years. This is based on the applicant's age or document verification status at the time of the transaction. The next type is the for higher license, Class E. Minimum age is 18. The cost, $21, valid for 0 to 3 years, a Class E or $42, valid for 0 to 6 years. If you are age 70 with a school bus endorsement, new, $11. Renewal, $6. This is valid for 0 to 1 year. The next license type is the commercial driver license, Class A, B, or C. Minimum age is 18. The cost, $26 for 0 to 3 years, or $52, 0 to 6 years. If you are age 70 with a school bus endorsement, new, $13.50, renewal, $6, valid for 0 to 1 year. The next license type is the motorcycle only license, Class M. Minimum age is 16. The cost, $13.50 for 0 to 3 years, or $27, 0 to 6 years. The next license types is non-driver license and ID card. The minimum age is any age. The cost, $18, 0 to 6 years, or non-expiring. And the non-driver license for voting purposes only. The minimum age is 17 and a half. There is no cost. Valid for 0 to 6 years or non-expiring. Restrictions If you have limited driving experience, 
or a medical condition that impairs your ability to drive safely. You may receive a restricted license permitting you to drive only under specific conditions. If you have a restricted license, it will have one or more of the restriction codes shown below. You may be required to take a driving test in order to have a restriction removed from your license. If you disobey the restriction or restrictions, you can be charged with driving without a license and if convicted, points will be placed on your driving record. If you receive too many points, your license may be suspended or revoked. The following are the restriction codes. Letter A, corrective lenses. Letter B, outside rear view mirror. Letter C, daylight driving only. Letter D, auto trans power steering. Letter E, no manual transmission CMV. Letter F, restricted to 45 miles per hour. Letter G, 25 mile radius. Letter H, special hand devices. Letter I, intermediate license. Letter J, electrical turn signals. Letter K, intrastate driving only, CDL. Letter L, non air brake CMV. Letter M, no Class A passenger vehicle. Letter N, no Class A or B passenger vehicle. Letter O, no tractor trailer CMV. Letter P, no passengers in CMV bus. Letter Q, more than five restrictions. Letter R, special seat cushion. Letter T, right outside mirror. Letter U, uncoated restriction. Letter V, medical variance. Letter W, farm waiver. Letter X, no cargo in CMV tank vehicle. Letter Y, left outside mirror. Letter Z, no full air brake equipped CMV. An uncoated restriction is any restriction not listed here. An uncoated restriction will be listed as a U in the restriction area of the driver license or permit, and the description will display on the back of the document, space permitting. Any law enforcement officer, judge, or physician can ask the department to place restrictions on your license. Medical referral. There are two reasons you may need a physician's statement when you renew or apply for a license. Firstly, you have had epileptic seizures, convulsions, or blackouts within the six months prior to your applications for a license. And secondly, a driver examiner, license clerk, family member, law enforcement officer, physician, physical therapist, occupational therapist, chiropractor, registered nurse, psychologist, social worker, professional counselor, optometrist, or emergency medical technician believes you may have some other medical condition that would make you an unsafe driver. This person must complete a driver condition report, Form 4319, and submit it to the department. Endorsements Endorsements are just the opposite of restrictions because they qualify you to do things you wouldn't do without the endorsement, such as drive a school bus or operate a motorcycle. The endorsements available for your non-commercial Missouri driver license, Class F, E, or M, are listed as follows. A school bus endorsement, letter S. A school bus endorsement is required for anyone transporting students from school to home, home to school, and to and from school-sponsored events. A school bus endorsement may be issued to drivers age 21 or older who hold a Class E for hire license or a commercial license with a passenger endorsement, letter P. A school bus endorsement can be suspended for one year if a person fails to pass any drug, alcohol, or chemical test 
administered in accordance with any federal or state law, rule, or regulation regarding the operation of a school bus. Missouri law has special operating regulations for school buses. If you need more information on school buses, contact Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, Division of Administrative and Financial Services, School Transportation. The email address is as follows. Web reply at dmpt.dese.mo.gov. The phone number is 573-751-0357 or fax at 573-526-6898. The next endorsement is motorcycle, letter M. A motorcycle endorsement on an operator or higher class license is required if you operate a motorcycle or motor tricycle on public roadways. To add the motorcycle endorsement to an existing license, you will need to pass the motorcycle written test, vision, road sign, and a skills test on a motorcycle or motor tricycle. For more information about Missouri's motorcycle laws, see the Motorcycle Operator Manual posted on our website. You may also request a copy from MSHP or any license office. Additional endorsements are available if you have a commercial driver license or commercial learner's permit. For more information about Missouri's commercial driving laws, see the Commercial Driver License Manual posted on our website. You may also request a copy from MSHP or any license office. When renewing a license or a permit, here are renewal reminders. The department will mail you a reminder to renew before your license expires. A renewal notice will not be mailed for a temporary instruction permit or commercial learner's permit. The reminder will be sent to the mailing address on your driver record. When you move, you may update your address in one of the following ways. Complete an address change at your local license office or online at our website http colon double forward slash dor dot mo dot gov forward slash or send an email to dlb mail at dor dot mo dot gov or Send a written notice with your new address to the following. Driver License Bureau, P.O. Box 200, Jefferson City, Missouri, 65105-0200. Your reminder will state the fee required to renew your license. You can renew your license up to six months before it expires. Each time you renew, you will be required to take the vision and road sign test. It is your responsibility to renew your driver license, even if you do not receive your reminder. Failure to renew promptly may cause you to have to retake the written and driving tests. You can be ticketed for driving without a valid license. Exception. If you will be leaving the state or country for an extended time, you may request an early renewal of your driver license at your local license office. A driver license may be valid for up to six years. If you allow it to expire, you must not drive. If you would like to continue driving uninterrupted, you must renew your license before it expires. If you do not renew your license within six months or 184 days after its expiration date, you will have to take the written and driving tests. See Chapter 2, in addition to the vision and road sign tests. License offices are usually busiest at the end of each month. Since you may renew your license up to six months before it expires, 184 days, you are encouraged to select a time to avoid the longer lines. If the renewal dates on your driver license and motor vehicle registration renewal are within six months, you may be able to complete both renewals at the same time and save yourself a trip later to the license office. Renewal by mail for active duty members of the armed forces. Missouri allows renewal by mail for members of the armed forces and their dependents. 
Applicants should submit a completed mail-in driver license application, Form 4317, available online at our web address or faxed upon request, along with required documents and fees. Missouri allows a renewal without re-examination for members of the armed forces whose license has expired while out of state for up to six months from honorable discharge or within 90 days of re-establishing residency in Missouri, whichever occurs first. The expired Missouri license and discharge papers must be submitted at the time of application in addition to other applicable renewal documents. The expired license is not valid for driving. These provisions only waive re-examination and do not extend the actual driving privileges beyond the expiration date. For lost, stolen, or destroyed license, if your license expires or is lost or stolen while you are out of state, you may request a mail-in driver license application, Form 4317, by phone at 573 573- 751-4600 or download the form on our website. If your license is lost, stolen, or destroyed, you must apply for a duplicate license. If your current license expires within the next six months, you may renew your license early rather than obtain a duplicate license. This saves you time and money. Renewing when your license is suspended or revoked. If you held a non-commercial driver license, you may take the vision and road sign tests and renew your license, even while your driving privilege is suspended. However, if your driving privilege has been revoked, you may only renew your license during the revocation if it resulted from your refusal to take a chemical test. You will not receive your license back until you have completed your reinstatement requirements and your driving privilege has been reinstated. Other information about your driver license. Organ, eye, and tissue donor information. When you apply for a new, renewal, or duplicate instruction permit, driver or non-driver license, you will be asked two very important questions at the time you make your application. Number one, do you consent to be listed in the donor registry system as an organ, eye, and tissue donor? If you say yes, your name will automatically be added to the Missouri Organ and Tissue Donor Registry, managed by the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services or their agent. The registry is on a secure, confidential database. Joining the registry means you have legally documented your decision to save lives by becoming an organ and tissue donor at the time of your death. No further consent is needed, which relieves your family of making that decision on your behalf. Number two. Do you authorize an organ donor symbol to be placed on your license or permit? If you said yes to be listed in the donor registry system, you will also be asked if you would like an optional indicator placed on your document. If you say yes to add the organ donor symbol, a red heart with a green banner will appear on the front of your instruction permit, driver, or non-driver license. There is no fee to place the symbol on your instruction permit, driver, or non-driver license, or place your name in the registry. You may obtain more information regarding the donor registry or register your decision and enroll online at the following address, https colon double forward slash www.missouriorgandonor.com forward slash od public site forward slash default dot ASPX. The back of your license or permit will include a box for placement of an organ donor sticker. If you do not elect to register with the organ, eye, and tissue donor registry, or you registered and did not elect to have the symbol placed on the face of your document at the time of issuance, you may complete registration or request an organ donor sticker online at https colon double forward slash www.missouriorgandonor.com forward slash od public site forward slash default 
www.aspx. The Blind Awareness Fund. State law requires the clerk to ask you if you would like to donate $1 to the Blind Awareness Fund when you apply for a license, permit, or non driver license. The DHH, Notation for Deaf or Hard of Hearing Applicants. When you apply for or renew your driver license, non driver license, or instruction permit, you may ask that a DHH notation be placed on your driver license, non driver license, or instruction permit. In the event of an emergency, this notation will allow law enforcement or emergency and medical personnel to readily determine if you are deaf or hard of hearing. This will assist in ensuring effective communications with someone who is injured and non responsive. In order to obtain the DHH notation, you must request the notation when applying for a license or instruction permit. Boater Safety Indicator If you are a resident of Missouri who has complied with the provisions of Section 306.127 RSMO and possess a current Boating Safety Education Card issued by the MSHP, you may request to obtain a Boater Safety Indicator on your driver's license or non-driver license. The MSHP will accept the indicator on a valid driver license or non-driver license in lieu of carrying the separate Boater Safety Education Card. You must request the new indicator and present your valid Boater Safety Education Card at the time of application for a new, renewal, or duplicate transaction. There will be an additional cost of $1 added to standard processing fees when the boater identification indicator is initially added to a driver license or non-driver license document. Permanent Disability Indicator If you are a resident of Missouri who is permanently disabled, you may request to have a permanent disability indicator placed on the back of your driver license or non-driver license at the time of application for a new, renewal, or duplicate transaction. To be eligible for the indicator, you must submit a physician's statement, Form 5294, Permanent Disability Indicator Completed and Signed by Your Physician, Physical Therapist, Occupational Therapist, Licensed under Section 334, RSMO, or Other Authorized Healthcare Practitioner. There will be no additional cost to add the indicator. The standard new renewal or duplicate transaction and processing fees will apply. You are not required by law to obtain a permanent disability indicator on your driver license or non-driver license. The indicator is not determination of eligibility or public benefits. Veteran Designation If you are a veteran of the United States Armed Forces, you may opt to have a Veteran Designation placed on the back of your driver license or non-driver license upon request at the time of application for a new, renewal, or duplicate transaction. To be eligible for the designation, you must submit one of the following acceptable discharge status verification documents. A United States Department of Defense discharge document, otherwise known as a DD Form 214, that shows a discharge status of honorable or general under honorable conditions that establishes the person's service in the armed forces of the United States. A United States Uniformed Services Identification Card, otherwise known as a DD Form 2, that includes a discharge status of retired or reserve retired, establishing the person's service in the armed forces of the United States. A United States Department of Veteran Affairs Photo Identification Card, or a discharge document, WD AGO 53, WD AGO 55, WD AGO 53 55, NAV PERS 553, NAV MC 78 PD, NAV CG 553 or a DD-215 form that shows a discharge status of honorable or general under honorable conditions. There will be no additional cost to add the indicator.
The standard new, renewal, or duplicate transaction and processing fees will apply. You are not required by law to obtain the veteran designation. Drivers Privacy Protection Act, DPPA The Federal Drivers Privacy Protection Act requires all states to close the personal information contained on all motor vehicle, driver, and non-driver license records unless otherwise directed by state law. Under Missouri law, a person or entity may access the personal information if exempt under the DPPA and have submitted a Request for Security Access Code, Form 4678, or have obtained express consent from the record holder on a Request from Record Holder, Form 4681. Voter Registration When you apply for or renew your driver license, non-driver license, or instruction permit, the clerk will ask you if you are registered to vote at your current address. If your voter registration address has changed, or if you have changed your name since your prior voter registration application, as shown on voter registration card, you may elect to submit a voter registration card to update the required information by responding yes to register to vote at the time of license application. The registration card will be generated for your signature and submitted to the local election authority. Selective Service Registration Male applicants, ages 18 to 26, may register with the Selective Service at the time of their license or permit application. Suspension or Revocation of Your License There are a number of reasons your license may be revoked or suspended or denied. Your best bet is to be responsible and be a good driver. You can lose your license for any of the following reasons. Parent or guardian request to deny a driver license, Form 4811. If you are under the age 18, your parent or guardian may request that the Director of Revenue deny you a license. If you already have a driver license, the request will cancel your license. When the department receives the request, a denial will be placed on your driving record. The denial expires when you turn 18 or when your parent or guardian requests your driving status be cleared. Form 4811 may be found on the department's website or at any license office. You can lose your license for driving under the influence of alcohol or drugs, see Chapter 10, for refusing to let a police officer test you for alcohol or drugs, for leaving the scene of a traffic accident, for failing to file an accident report, see Chapter 13. For giving false information when you apply for a license. For failing to settle a court judgment made against you for damages resulting from a motor vehicle accident. For failing to keep insurance, financial responsibility, see Chapter 13. For changing the information on your license or using someone else's license when you attempt to buy alcohol for failing to appear for an exam when requested by the Driver License Bureau, for using a motor vehicle to commit a felony or causing the death of someone in a motor vehicle crash, for having too many points on your driving record, see Chapter 11, for letting someone else use your driver license, for failing to appear in court to pay traffic tickets in Missouri or other states, for failing to pay child support, for failing to use ignition interlock device when required, for possessing any intoxicating liquor if you are a minor, for submitting false proof of insurance, and for failing to yield the right of way and causing injury or death. The Graduated Driver License Law, GDL. Missouri's Graduated Driver License Law requires all first-time drivers under 18 years old to obtain an instruction permit and complete a period of driving with a licensed driver, followed by a period of restricted driving and intermediate license before getting a full license. Studies from across the country show that deaths and serious injuries from traffic crashes involving young drivers decline by as much as 58% after a graduated driver license law is implemented. Consider the instruction permit as step one. 
the intermediate license, as Step 2, and the full driver license, under 21, as Step 3. The following are descriptions of each step to help you understand the GDL program. Step 1. The Instruction Permit. The eligible age is 15, cost $7. It is valid for up to 12 months based on document verification status. To obtain an instruction permit, pass the vision, road sign, and written tests. A parent, step-parent, legal guardian, or certified trainer with a federal residential job training program must accompany you to the license office to sign a permission statement. Permit Notes Under age 16, you may drive only when accompanied in the front seat by a parent, step-parent, grandparent, legal guardian, qualified driving instructor, or a person who is at least 25 years of age who has been licensed for a minimum of three years and has received written permission from the parent or legal guardian. If your parent, step-parent, grandparent, or legal guardian is physically disabled, he or she may designate up to two persons to accompany you in the vehicle to provide behind-the-wheel instruction. At age 16 or older, you may drive when accompanied in the front seat by a person who is at least 21 years old and has a valid driver license. Seat belts must be worn by the driver and all passengers. Your test paper alone is not legal for driving. Be sure to carry your permit with you. You may renew your instruction permit as many times as needed without taking additional written tests. Free permit driver window signs are available at all license offices. To graduate to an intermediate license, you must have an instruction permit for a minimum of six months, 182 days, beginning the day after issuance. You must have received 40 hours of driving instruction with a parent, step-parent, legal guardian, or certified trainer with a federal residential job training program. The required 40 hours must include at least 10 hours of nighttime driving. Step 2. Intermediate License. The eligible age is 16 to 18. Cost, $11. It is valid for up to two years based on document verification status. To obtain an intermediate license, you must satisfy the requirements listed in Step 1 to graduate from the instruction permit and hold the instruction permit for at least six months, 182 days, beginning the day after issuance. This includes having no alcohol-related convictions in the last 12 months and no traffic convictions in the last six months. A parent, grandparent, step-parent, legal guardian, or certified trainer with a federal residential job training program must accompany you to the license office to verify you have received 40 hours of driving instruction with your instruction permit. Pass the vision, road sign, and written tests, if applicable, if previous results are no more than one year old. Pass the driving test. License Notes Your test paper alone is not legal for driving. Be sure to carry your intermediate license with you. Seat belts must be worn by the driver and all passengers. Passenger restrictions outlined below may not be applicable to an intermediate license holder who is operating in agricultural work-related activities. Driving Restrictions During the first six months, you may not operate a motor vehicle with more than one passenger who is under the age of 19 and who is not a member of your immediate family. After the first six months, you may not operate a motor vehicle with more than three passengers who are under 19 years of age and who are not members of your immediate family. You may not drive alone between the hours of 1 a.m. and 5 a.m., except to and from a school activity, job, or an emergency, unless accompanied by a licensed driver 21 years of age or older. Immediate family shall include parents, grandparents, brothers, sisters, stepbrothers, stepsisters, and adopted or foster children residing in the driver's household. Parent shall include a foster parent, step-parent, or adoptive parent. Grandparent shall include a foster grandparent, 
step-grandparent, or adoptive grandparent. To graduate to a full, under-21 driver license, your driving privilege cannot be suspended, revoked, or denied at the time of application. You may not have any alcohol-related offenses or traffic convictions within the last 12 months. Step 3. Full driver license under 21. The eligible age is 18. Cost $13.50. It is valid for up to three years based on document verification status. To obtain the under 21 full driver license, you must satisfy the requirements for an intermediate license. This includes having no alcohol-related convictions or traffic convictions in the last 12 months. Have a valid intermediate license. Your driving privilege cannot be suspended, revoked, or denied when you apply for a full driver license. Pass the vision and road sign recognition tests. You are not required to pass the written and driving tests if already completed. If you are under 21 years of age, the department will issue you a license identifying you as a minor. When you become 21 years old, you may apply and pay for another driver license without the minor indicator or wait until your under-21 driver license expires. You are encouraged to study this driver guide before you attempt the written exam. Almost 50% of all test takers fail the first time. You will have a much better chance of passing your test if you take time to review this guide. Here is a checklist for you. You must have the following documents with you when you apply for a Missouri driver license, instruction permit, or non-driver license. Take all the documents with you to a license office when you apply for your license or permit. For a new Missouri resident transferring an out-of-state driver license, valid or expired no more than 180 days, you will need the out-of-state driver license, valid or expired no more than 184 days. Proof of lawful status. Identity must include full legal name and date of birth, social security number, name change if applicable, and Missouri residency. Note, if you are upgrading your driver license, take the above documents with you to an MSHP examination location when you take the written, vision, and road sign tests and or driving test. For a first-time applicant, proof of lawful status, identity must include full legal name and date of birth, social security number, name change if applicable, and Missouri residency. You will need Driver Examination Record Form 100 indicating successful completion of tests not required for non-driver license. If you are renewing your license, all drivers renewing will have to show proof of lawful status. Identity must include full legal name and date of birth, social security number, name change if applicable, and Missouri residency. Exemption If you are renewing a non-commercial permit driver license or non-driver license and are age 65 or older, you are exempt from presenting documents for place of birth. Footnote for Missouri residency Please refer to the complete list of acceptable documents for a Real ID compliant or non-real ID compliant document application online at www.dor.mo.gov. Additional documents and verification of Social Security number may be required if the documentation submitted is questionable, or if the license office clerk or MSHP examiner has reason to question the validity or authenticity of the documents or needs further verification. This concludes Chapter 1.